So this is my video today on how to repair a broken folding mirror on the Honda Civic FN2. As you can see my driver's side mirror here does fold. Pressing the button again the passenger side mirror does not. Now this is controlled by what's called the shut off device. This can be bought from Honda. There is the part number there if we can get it into focus. However this can be bought off eBay for £35. I'll put the link in the description. What you're going to need to do this, I find, is a flathead screwdriver and a pair of long nose pliers. So outside the car, we have the actual wing mirror itself. Now the way I tend to do this, I remove the actual mirror, uh, which reveals the three clips used to, you need to release to take the actual plastic itself off. And the device is located somewhere around here, just at the back of the mirror. Now, I find it easier to take the actual mirror off rather than try to force the plastic casing. That's just a personal preference. But uh, the easiest way I find to remove the mirror is if you just tilt it backwards, and then just, just basically give it a bit of a wiggle, as it should, pull away from the car quite happily. Now you need to take these two off to stop the mirror hanging up, swinging around. So I'll do that and be back in a moment. The mirror is actually removed. You can see in here you need to pull them out, squeeze these two bits together here, so it pushes back out through the hole. Same just there, and finally the third one is just in there. And what that does is that just releases the actual colour cover on the rear of the mirror. Now, for ease, this is where the long nose pliers come in, because these should just fit down in here, just like that. A bit fiddly one-handed. But give it a squeeze, it's going to be seen. A bit of a push, and as you can see from here, it is quite easily release the mirror from the actual casing. So if we do the same just in here. There we go. As you can see the mirror has fallen off, the, no damage done to anything at all and that can just be tucked just out of the way to one side. As I was mentioning this is the device here that you want to replace. We can tell this is what's broken as if you can see just in there the actual resistor casing is overheated and just cracked. So we'll release that and join you again in just a couple of seconds. So now we actually have the device removed. It's a bit fiddly to do one-handed. I don't know whether you can see here, but if I zoom in on one part of the connection, it's actually got a very, very tiny clip that needs to be depressed there by the flathead screwdriver to work its way out, out of there. But just remove this one, there we are. And that is the faulty part removed. As I mentioned just now, you can see there the, the actual solenoid or resistor or whatever that is in there is it, it's, it's gone. It's, it's broken. Now, there is a much cheaper way to repair this. If you really wish to and, ha and had the skills and the want to do so, you can buy this little resistor here for about £2.50 on eBay. You just have to dig out all the, all the glue gun stuff in there that's holding it together and, and re-solder it in place. Now, in my opinion, far more can go wrong with that than can actually go right, and it's just not worth the hassle when you can buy the genuine Honda replacement. So, what I'm going to do, get the new one out, and plug it all back together, which is going to be a bit fiddly one-handed. I'm not going to struggle with that one handed. So as you can see, everything's nice and tidily put back away. Both connections are in, one's there, one's just tucked down there, and that is securely back in place. So what we're going to do is offer the cover back up to the mirror, so we can give it a quick test. What we can do is just make sure that all these clips go back in just lightly. Just so the cover's not going to fall off when I hit the button to test it. There we are. Okay, well that's actually clicked back in place. So, fingers crossed, this will work. So here we are back inside the car. Time to hit the magic button. Driver's side folds. And hey ho, passenger side is now fully folding as well. So that was a success. Just going to go ahead and refit the actual mirror itself, which is currently just laying down in the footwell 
Um, if, if you liked this and thought this was helpful, you know, hit subscribe. I will be doing far more jobs to the car as, as time progresses, but this, this is just the start. Um, so again, I apologize for this like jittery video, not used to making videos on these things, but yeah, quite, quite happy with the result of that, all for the 30 pound. Saves the cost of a whole new mirror, which, which can be up to about 160, 170 pounds. So yeah, really happy with that. Takes about 10 minutes to do.